Hey everyone, it's Paulie here from Hard Drive Radio. I'm sitting down with Griffin and Harry from the band Shapes. And thank you so much for coming to see me today, guys. I'm really thanks glad you're us. here in New York. Yeah, thanks, I'm very man. excited about the show tonight, especially to hear you guys play the new single live. Uh, that is Afterlife. Yeah, yes. Afterlife and Undertones are both Undertones, rolling out right. on your radio stations now, apparently. Uh so I, actually, I just saw the uh, the video for Undertones, man. Yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit about that song and, and putting the, the video together because the visuals are so cool. I love that, that video. So yeah, uh, that, video. that song, basically, I had a um, I had a business partner who really messed me about. And uh, there was the process of kind of like damage limitation was a lot of basically just holding, holding back, shutting my mouth, allowing him to make all the mistakes so I could just basically sit there and build a case and be like, right, this is why it's not my business kind of thing. Um, so the song was kind of about just sit. The lyric that sums it up is, "I'll sit in silence while you dig while you dig your grave." Mm. Um, so for me, the whole song kind of had like an air, like a air of basically like revenge or kind of like um, revenge the dish best served cold kind of thing. So we wanted to. We were kind of messing around with video ideas, and um, we just quite like the idea of using. Uh, like a DeLorean and going down like the 80s route and stuff and um, yeah planting a bomb in a city and getting the fuck out of Dodge and letting it blow up which is yeah. kind of it was it was really metaphorical for uh, my business partner it was, <laughs> the, the, vid the video came it was one of those things where we turned up at like some village hall in some like English countryside town oh yeah it was fucking and, and it was so it was so because we got there and we were like Highest budget video we've ever done. Like we turned yeah. up expecting, you know, like we it's all done on a on a uh, green screen. So we turned up expecting like a big infinity wall, like lights yeah. everywhere. We turned up at a uh, parish church in Oxford. It's just like in the middle of fucking nowhere, and there's just a green cloth duct tape to a wall. <laughs> I'm looking around. I'm like, what? it's in a church. So I call yeah. up a manager. Like, how much have we spent on this fucking video? This is a joke. Like we're being stitched up. He's like, it's fine, it's fine. It's how they all work. It's how green screen works. Like it's gonna turn out great. Did like one shot each. We were gone in like three hours. I was like, we fucked it. Lads. Yeah, yeah. Literally and did not take long through. at all. What? Wow. How'd you do yeah. that? He smashed it. Like he yeah. sent some like literally about five seconds of test footage through, and we were like, what? Like this is insane. And then like it just kept get the more hit time he had on it. It just kept getting better and better and better, and it just turned out really really well mm. Ple like this most pleasantly surprised I've ever been in my life because we were all super worried about it so when it came out we were like yes yes. normally whenever you shoot a video you have like an image of, in your head of how it's going to be and you see the first edit and you just go oh right yeah that's that's how it is okay that's what it looks like yeah alright okay I see what we're working with but with that one it was yeah it's really straight good. out yeah it's it, it must be difficult as an artist to you know you spend all this time crafting this song and then when you have to make a video for it, you have to basically take all this hard work that you've done and hand it to somebody else and hope that they don't screw it up. Well, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Literally. I mean, d how do you how do you kind of deal with like you know having to to put your trust in someone? You've else? just got to work closely with them and like make sure you're kind of like there because because Griff's the the main kind of visionary when it comes to that kind of the visual look of how a video comes across or something I like that. I end up pissing off all the directors. I'm like, let's get this shot. I'm like, can we get a bit of a lower angle on that? And it's like, dude, let me do my work. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you do need to have like, when it comes to story and stuff and like how you want things to look, just, there's, there's no shame in like having a firm grip on it because obviously it's your, it's your, it's your work. Like it's your art, if you will. So it's kind of like, you can kind of see why most bands just go and do the big, like warehouse shot and big wide angles and stuff just because they don't want, you can't really fuck that up, but just everyone's got them, so I kind of want to do some other shit and have some fun with it. Uh, I did enjoy the video for Afterlife very much. Man. Oh, dude, yeah, that, yeah, that was cool. Like, that was, was that your idea? That was my baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell so, me about um, shooting that. So our budget for that was a grand, which is like, it's just minuscule. Do you know what I mean? So I had to hire that cop car, all the bikes. Those bikes were like forty years old, like crash mats. Uh, had to go and find all the locations and stuff. So we're whizzing around all like back alley London and stuff. But uh, yeah, it took me like, it took me quite a while to figure that all out. And then on the day it was like, right, get shot, 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 shot. let's get it all done. But um, yeah, man, we had so much fun doing that and like doing all our own stunts and shit. And me and Ryan nearly died. Yeah. <laughs> like, me throwing myself off an abandoned building onto like yeah. a crash mat. That's what I, I can't so this is, a, this is about that big, um, like, 
syringes everywhere in there and like get, asbestos everywhere was, yeah. i was looking at that shot and i was like there's got to be like a big like inflatable thing there oh dude it wasn't on. big it no? was about i'll show you the video after this it's about that big uh. um and then ryan like <laughs> Oh, oh that was hilarious. On his yeah, I've just got stuff. I've just got because it's the scene where Ryan like falls off his bike. Mm. When you ha like I've got a video from it from like the other way and he just KOs it man like yeah, literally yeah. he just he just went for it and he flew and just landed straight hey, on his foot. face. It's like fair enough you work for your art. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. And it turned you out bleed hilarious. For your art. Literally it was hilarious. Face full of like soil and stuff. Who uh, who played the cop? That was uh, the assistant video director. Mm. Yeah, yeah, so he was good, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. Very good, cop. very convincing. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Terminator um, cop. It's so funny because there was there was just so many um, issues with like you know we're trying to make it look like it was the American street, so you'd, like, you'd wait for cars to pass because the cars is the dead giveaway. Mm. Um, and by the end of it, you're just like, there's no way at five o'clock in the afternoon in like a busy town you're going to be able to avoid cars. We're so like, fuck it. It's just gonna have to be an American cop car in the middle of Britain. Yeah, just no, yeah, no, <laughs> makes no sense at why that car's there. And, but um, I think that adds to it. It's like it just doesn't make any sense, and I think that's what and, kind uh, of makes it Jaeger funny. Jaeger sponsored us for the video, um, and we had no. We, they sponsored us for a video, and we didn't get any branding in the other two videos we had for the album. So we had to get it in this video. I was so, wondering about that. Too. Yeah, so I was like, I was like fuck. How, how can I how can I write camera? Jaegermeister into the storyline? We're like, why is the cop chasing us? I was like, uh. Because we steal a bottle of Jaeger from the shop, mm. cop chases us, and then how do I defeat the cop? I drink the Jaeger, superpower, and go and fight the cop. Jaeger didn't like that when we showed him the video because it's um, alcohol inducing violence or whatever. Ah, I'm so promoting like, it to kids as well. I was like, let's just put a fuck off sensor badge over it and drink it. And yeah, yeah. Because everyone knows what it, it is. You can still yeah. tell what it yeah. is. I was like, well, they show the label when you're taking it. Yeah, yeah. But then, you know, when you're drinking it later, it's you not just on there. You I can't, was, like, up with that? advertising regulations, you can't have a sip of Jaeger and then punch someone in the face, unfortunately. Yeah. Don't know why. But I, yeah. Who knows? I mean, because that would never happen in real life. No, no, no. Ever. Mm -hmm.